Welcome everybody out. Tonight's topic is maintaining a healthy weight. There's lots of things you can do and we have a wellness class on this. Um, maintaining healthy weight is not about being skinny. It's not about, you know, losing a lot. It's just about being the proper, you know, taking care of your metabolism and everything and being healthy. Yeah, you know, having a healthy lifestyle, um, you know, and your your natural healthy weight will happen anyways uh, when you do these things. So, um, yeah, so we won't have excess anything. Our body will naturally balance. Oh, hello, run turn into <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> That's magic. We weren't looking, and here we are. <laughs> so. Um, uh, we have five wellness classes. So anybody that joins our doTERRA team, we make sure they understand the holistic approach. Um, so it's not just what oil for this ill and, you know, like a replacement to a pill for an ill. We want people to understand a holistic approach that will help them have permanent results that will be a blessing for them for a whole lifetime. And, you know, it's going to be a skill that they can pass on to you know, their children for generations to come. And we will not lose this art again, this healing art. That's the idea. Um, so we want to help people and, um, with weight. And that's part of our class of five classes. So that's the third class. Our first class is about just family wellness, how to use essential oils for general things in the home. And then we have the um, detoxing, the cleanse and restore class to help cleanse the cells. And then the maintaining healthy weights comes after that because it makes more sense when your body is clean, it functions properly and it balances as well. Um, and then after that, we have the women's health and hormones. And the last one is reducing toxins. And all those classes, um, they go hand in hand. Um, but it's very important that everybody understands it and you can watch it and read it and learn it until you truly get it. Uh, but once you get it, it's going to be a life changer for you. So that's, that's been our experience in our family. Uh, we adopted all of that and um, we've not had um, to struggle with weight and other health problems. My parents and my family in Australia, they've enjoyed great health because they've adopted that too. So we just wanted to share with people. And this is the, the class number three, but I feel like it's good to help people understand this right now. <coughs> um, ben, do you want to share the screen with us? Okay. Um, this here, it, it can be found if you just search weight um, in our search bar on jadebolden.com. Um, yeah, you can find this post. Yeah. Do you guys like Ben's new haircut? <laughs> cool. <laughs> <Lost some weight. laughs> That's the first thing I notice in the room. <laughs> A pound of hair. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, when um, I'll just tell you how um, a few years ago, well, not more than that, when I first got married to Ben, um, a, a lady. I uh, said to me, because we were talking about uh, size because I was shopping in America and American size is different to Australia. So I said, I'm size zero. Um, and one lady said, well, enjoy it while you can because you won't be that way after you have kids. <laughs> mm. Well, I have to say that I am the same size uh, with a, little, a few extra stretch marks and that's all. <laughs> but, you know, mm. this, is, this is something that I feel like, wait, I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy weight. Why can't I? And it's just a false belief that people have when they think that, okay, as you get older, you're just going to chubby up and um, just be unhappy. And that's not the case. And I can tell you now because I have a mum and she's a grandma and she lives in Australia and she's, she and I share clothes. <laughs> so um, I think maybe she's a couple of pounds more, but that's about it. And that's, that's awesome. And many, many people around the world can enjoy good health too. Um, so good weight. And there's, there's not much to it. There's not a secret about it. Um, it's just for some of these things that I want to share with you. So that if we adopt this and understand this, it'll be easier. Okay, so the first thing um, I want to share is we're going to talk about the mind and the spirit first. Okay, mm -hmm. the very, very first thing is that you want, you want to develop a healthy self-love. Okay, healthy self-love 
means that you're connected to God, which is our power source, our true power source. Um, then you don't feel like everything is from you. You don't get drained, okay? And then, you know, because of that, you know that you've been created um, perfectly, that your body knows how to, um, how to be well, right? So we talked about that in the last class. Okay, this, this is about being well as well. And, you know, accepting unconditional love helps you feel safe, okay? So one thing you can do is just, um, you know, read God's word, journal, you know, blessings, show gratitude for things, and just keep allowing yourself to be loved. A lot of us mm -hmm. say, no, no, I'm not, you know, not for me, and that they, they're so giving and they're so um, selfless to the point where they're self-abusive. Right, so if you have a hard time receiving love and accepting praise, accepting good stuff from people around you, your friends, your family, then we kind of you know work on that a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. to balance it up because when you are uh, have a healthy self love, your body mm -hmm. will absorb nutrients. You know, and you know, how, you, did you ever think about why people um, complain that oh, my body doesn't uh, absorb this? nutrient and that nutrient why right there the bottom line is when i do energy healing for people is that there's some association with something along the lines of you know calcium or whatever it is and then suddenly because they don't feel loved their body stops absorbing that it's just weird and when we clear that out suddenly their body's able to absorb that you know, um, whatever it is, that nutrient, the vitamin or that mineral, whatever again. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and when you feel loved, you feel more relaxed and the relaxed body releases fat, relaxed body has less inflammation. Okay. So that is really important to work on, um, you know, before you even jump on a treadmill, this is really, really important. Mm -hmm. Okay. So spend the time and uh, work out that, Remember, when you are loved, you just, you don't need to measure yourself against anything. I keep telling people love, self-love is different to self-esteem. Self-esteem um, compares and um, measures against something, but self-healthy self-love is just acceptance that you're enough because you're God's, you're God's child. That's it. Okay. And you have all of the, um, you know, potential that God has given you. Okay, so number two is adopt the health paradigm that your body, its natural state is, you know, this healthy weight. Its natural health, see, healthy state is your, um, your healthy weight, whatever your healthy weight is, whatever that ideal healthy weight is for your body. It's, um, it's going to go back to that. So as part of healing, your body lets go of their weight, um, the excess toxins, the waste, and the fat. Okay, you are not broken or defective in any way. So one thing to do is just keep reminding yourself, keep finding the evidence that your body can self-heal. Mm. Okay? And when it does that, it says, what, what is this? Toss that out. What is that? Toss that out. Okay? Instead of holding on to every little thing. And your body wants to have a healthy weight, okay? Um, this means that when you eat and you're full, your body knows it. When you're hungry, your body knows it. So it's really not that complicated. I, I see people reading lots and lots of different diets and tricks and tips and things all over the place, and they keep asking me. So many people come up to me, what do you think about this diet? What do you think about this diet? I just tell them the same things. You know, what does your body want? You know, what does your body feel like? You know, sometimes they have all these recipes and remedies. It may not work necessarily perfectly for you in that moment and that, on that day. So um, be intuitive and we'll talk about that in a minute. Mm -hmm. So work with your body, not against your body. Love it, love it, love it. And your body will work with you. Okay? Uh, the other thing is, of course, managing stress and playing more. I mean, it sounds counterintuitive. <laughs> I had this guy, um, he's actually a doctor and he came up to me and he said, I need to do you to do some energy healing for me. And I did, I sat down for two hours with him 
And he said, I, I exercise and I eat organic and I do all these things and I keep gaining more and more weight. And I said, you need a plane, you need to sleep. And he's like, what? You know? And I said, yes, you need a plane, you need to sleep. And your body's asking for that because that relaxes you. And he was just laughing, thinking, wait, that's just, it's not in the books. You know, people say work harder, exercise, you know, work out, eat organic. Um, it is in the book. Sometimes you people know, talk about that. Yeah. You need sleep. You just, you just need more sleep. You need more play. All right. So our wonderful oils, of course, helps us feel healing and happy and it balance all the chemicals in our body. So you have the whole series of emotional healing oils there. Um, you've got motivate, mm -hmm. you've got cheer, passion, forgive, console, peace. So use whatever it is that your body's asking for and relax. Um, and the one way for me to relax fully is to say, God's got my back. <laughs> I've got lots of things I still want to do today, but um, I need to let go. And, um, you know, I just need to just let that uh, go and have the angels take care of it and you know, hopefully tomorrow is another day and I can I'll find the time and you know the angels will help me figure it all out okay so yeah all righty so if we don't um, I think a lot of people don't know how to play um, I, I think um, I, I love people in the states because they have such a strong worth ethic work ethic um, Americans work so hard and they, they produce and they do so well um, but I think it's gotten to a point where people work too much they don't know how to play and how to have a um, you know just time to relax uh, I, I read uh, I watched a, um, a TED talk about a Thai Thailand guy a Thai guy and he said that in the farms he would work for two hours and then he takes a nap and then he goes visits with his friends in the in the country town that he lives in and you know pretty much that's his day <laughs> but here you know in the u.s we work and we work we work so many hours um every single day and i have a uh, my auntie she was um she grew up in vietnam and she came to australia and she thought that she worked really hard in Vietnam. I mean, they, they worked for maybe three, four hours a day and then they, um, they had a good nap and then they um, hung out and, for the rest of the evening and when night uh, fall came, they um, went to bed and woke up with the uh, rooster crowing. And uh, they worked hard, they thought. But when she came yeah. to Australia, <laughs> She had her, you know, nine to five job and day in, day out and day in and day out. Um, you know, you don't have naps during the day and you, you just work. And she cried. She had a big cry because she said that this is so much harder than she expected. She didn't know that people worked that hard. Mm -hmm. And to us, we're like, um, that's normal <laughs> because we're so used to that. But, you know, there's people around the world that still just you know have a great life and they don't have to work that hard so anyways um we have to reconsider you know how much work we do and why we allow ourselves to be so stressed um, people are so wound up that they don't know how to unwind there's a lady that's visiting me this week and um i'm, I'm gonna give her an aroma touch massage but i'm thinking how on earth do i teach her to unwind because she's so wound up so tightly um, you know, it's just very difficult for her to kind of let go for a moment. And I remembered that as a, as a young mum, I had that guilt trip all the time that if I let go of play, you know, my kids will, you know, not grow up right. I have to feed them and I have to make sure they dress right and all these things. Um, and I didn't know what made me happy. I didn't know how to play. So ask yourself the question, what is it that I like? Um, what makes me happy? And, um, you know, what can I do to play and relax? So what do you guys think? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. I think relaxing and sleep, like you said, that doctor you're talking about, um, mm -hmm. sometimes people are surprised that that's part of the equation, the sleep and the relaxing. 
Because they're, they're under the uh, mindset that, you know, work, 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 just exercise, exercise, eat right. And yeah. All that. And if you're not result, having results, work harder. Yeah. Um, and, but your body has to recover. It has to recover. So you have to, sleeping is part of the formula of maintaining a healthy weight relaxing you know just let your body otherwise your body is is holding on to the weight because of the stress mm -hmm. it's holding on the weight because it doesn't you know you're working so hard you know mm. but then, you know what, what are you gonna you must yeah. be you know must not have enough yeah mm. intuitive it seems but it actually really works so yeah, and some days when I, I, I feel like, oh, you know, I need a workout, but then I think, no, no, today my body just wants an extra half an hour of sleep. And I let that, that, that happen. So if you yeah. look at the athletes or if you look at the bodybuilders, people who have, you know, excellent figures and weight and everything, you know, they take time to rest, to relax, to play. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, winding up so much can... And stress is actually, a lot of people understand and would agree with you that stress is one of the things that would add to um, weight gain. Um, you know, sometimes you don't need that extra weight, but if your body is saying, oh, we're, we're cracking it on because it's yeah. a stressful time, maybe there's hard times ahead and you got to prepare, <laughs> put up a storage or whatever. Yeah, and I have people that um, sleep a little bit extra and they think that they're, they're playing, but they're actually working. They, they're getting into a, a project. They're getting into something. And, they, you know, your body will tell you whether you've relaxed enough. Okay? And so when people's body's still breaking down and still hurting and they come to me and say, yeah, I've relaxed, I think, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, even if they're getting themselves into another club or another whatever it is that they're doing, it's not, they're not relaxing somehow. So it's just more work, like oh, going yeah. on vacation. Then you have to take a vacation from your vacation <laughs> because your vacation is pretty stressful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Bad. But it, it, I want to teach people to read their body because their body will tell them whether it's sufficient or not and what kind mm -hmm. of, you know, in your mind, you probably think this is how I'm, I relax. But really, uh, it might not be. So just really work with your body and your body will tell you because your health state is a great gauge I think some, sometimes people they just need to pull out of their situation meditation can help them do that yeah. help them reach that state of relax where they they've disconnected from their problems and they're it's like they're looking at their problems from a from a higher perspective and they all their their thoughts and their um you know the things that come through their head and they're just watching it and oh, yeah. they're the pull, pulling back and um, that helps them. Cardamom re, will help with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Re-gauge, you know, what and they, they see, is, you know, from that exercise that, you know, there's no reason to stress. This mm -hmm. is all just, yeah. Yeah. It's all just an illusion. Yeah. It is definitely. I feel guilty at the beginning when we first um, moved here that you know, I started work at 10. Um, so, it, you know what, you just have to teach yourself that it's going to be okay, that God's got your back, that you'll be safe. And then, um, you know, it's, it's a learning progress. You just have to learn. I was so tense and um, tight that uh, I didn't know better. And, you know, now my shoulders are a lot more relaxed. My body's more relaxed. Even when I travel, I just tell people, okay, so this is my plan. I'll just keep, I'll look at it, glance at it, and that's okay. You know, we'll roll with it. And things always fall into place anyways. In the past, it's like, oh, let me review, let me review, make sure I know everything that I'm doing all the time, every few, few minutes, few hours. It, you know, now it's not like that at all. Anyways, here's a lovely affirmation for everybody. I love my body. I am my beautiful, slim body. Okay. So we can repeat this, repeat this, repeat this as often as we can until we feel it and feel excited about it. I love my body. And this is about you enjoying the body that you're in because you're going to be with this body forever. <laughs> and so you might as well learn to work with it. Okay. And being happy with your and body as it, it is right now. Yep. Really Even be happy with it. Even if you're not it. slim. Yeah, I'm yep. grateful for my beautiful body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, there, let's work on the body now. We've talked about the mind and the spirit. Mm -hmm. So we'll work on the body now. And the very first thing that I help people do is cleanse the body. We'll cleanse the toxins out. If you haven't done our 30 day mm -hmm. cleanse, the doTERRA 30 day cleanse, I'd highly recommend it. We have emails that we send out every day. So if you go to dayboldencom uh, forward slash cleanse, uh, there's a place where you put your email in and I'll give you a reminder email every single day, what oils to use, what products to use and what your body is going to be experiencing. Um, detoxing your cells basically means get, getting your cells healthy so that it can continue to communicate properly and produce the, uh, the happy, healthy hormones that it's meant to produce. Your body will be able to um, just adjust and adapt all the time. When the receptor sites are clean, you know, there's, there's this amazing activity that's happening in your body all the time that you're not really uh, aware of, but it does. The thing is, if you think about um, when you're eating food, all right, if your body is not clean, when your body gets a signal that you are full and it has to go through traffic to get to your brain and say, hey, you're full, Okay, guess what? It's taken so long that you've eaten another bowl of whatever it is that you're not supposed to eat. <laughs> and then you hurt later on because you didn't get that message too much later. Um, but when your cells are clean, when you're eating, you're thinking, you know what? I am full now. And then you will stop and your body won't eat more than you need to, you see? So you're naturally um, having a healthy appetite. Uh, because your cells are communicating properly now. You're getting messages that quickly. Right? Also with the cleanse, sometimes when people have microorganisms in their gut or fungus yeah. or whatever, um, that's actually robbing all the nutrients. And so your body is feeling Feeding the fungus. hungry. It needs yeah. those nutrients and it's asking for more nutrients. And, and you can just keep on eating calories and everything, and but your body's not getting those nutrients. Mm -hmm. So... You get rid of those that fungus, you get rid of those problems in your digestive system, cleanse it out, do a detox, you know, where you're cleaning out your pipes as well. Pipe meaning, you know, like your um, lymphatic yeah. system that helps drain out all the toxins and everything. Maybe your kidneys. Um, yep. and then, then your body's going to be a lot more nourished. And when your body's more nourished, it'll feel satiated. More. That's right. That's right. And you won't be craving for things. Um, you can get I remember it. the, so the first um, year that we were mm -hmm. on with doTERRA, um, we decided we're going to make a plan. And so we changed the way we ate. We ate a lot more um, plant-based um, foods, mm -hmm. um, exercised, and, you know, we started, you know, the essential oils. Um, just simple. Um, I didn't do a full cleanse at that time, but just simply. Um, I think we lost 35 pounds mm -hmm. in that first six months that we were, mm -hmm. you know, we did this uh, change in our home and, mm -hmm. and, you know, I've never gained it back and mm -hmm. always trying to, you know, be healthier and, and, and better. Yep. Yep. Same here. Um, you know, when you, you've cleansed enough, a lot of people can just come up to me and ask me these questions and I don't know um, the answer unless I ask them how their body's going. So how's the whites of your eyes? Is it white? How's your breath? How's your energy level? You know, those are the clues to help you know whether you've cleansed enough. Okay, so if people have this mental clarity, right, if whatever you're hearing, whatever you're reading, you remember. Okay, that is a clue that you've cleansed enough. If you have it, then do it again, and then do it again. Okay, because sometimes people say, well, am I allowed to eat this? Am I allowed to eat that during the cleanse? You know, it's best to eat all healthy foods. But if you do that, that's fine. But if your body is um, clean enough, it will tolerate and it will flush and um, eliminate stuff that is not good for it, for it. It's that smart. Okay, so you're able to travel and do stuff and then cheat a little bit without hurting yourself. Okay. So that's how we gauge. And when you're, you're getting adult acne again, when your skin is not as bright as it used to, you're, the whites of your eyes are not as white, then cleanse again because it's time. Okay, that's how you gauge. Because you know, nobody can really tell you, is your brain clear? Is your breath smelling great in the morning? 
I usually should know those things because that way your body is able to communicate with you properly. Your body will say, hey, I feel like soup today. I feel like salad today. And look, I can't even have another spoonful of that. Thank you very much. You know, that's awesome, right? That's how we should do it. So that way you will never overeat and you will never starve yourself too much because your body's so um, smart and it's communicating with you all of the time, okay? And that way you know that you're healthy. I think for a lot of guys, you know, they reach this point in their life where that's around 30, 35 years old where their metabolism changes before, you know, when they're um, young adults or whatever, they could eat all they want and just keep on putting it down. And then they reach, and I'm sure they think same thing happens to the ladies, you know, yeah. you reach a point in your life where your metabolism switches. And if you keep on eating the same amounts and, same you know, kind of junk. yeah, it basically is junk, then your body's just going to start packing it on because yeah. things are changing inside and you want to be able to boost your metabolism. And so that means eating um, less, but more often mm -hmm. it means getting sleep. It means, um, you know, doing these things that help boost your metabolism, exercise and yeah, that's right. weight training, um, high intensity exercise and all those sorts of things. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. That's good. Cause that's what we feel. We feel like we're younger than we were 10 years ago. And that's at least how I feel. Um, you know, I, I feel like the other thing that's very important for our body is to have enough sleep. And of course we have a lot of the oils and products in doTERRA to help us sleep. You've got your um, balance oil to stop the mind chatter. So rub a balance oil across. You have juniper berry oil to rub on your tummy to quieten down and put your organs to sleep. And of course you have serenity soft gels and serenity oil to help calm everything down and sleep. Um, if your muscles are tense, you have um, aroma touch oil and um, marjoram oil to help just soften the, the muscles and relax uh, the muscles so that you can sleep. Okay, and of course, when we're sleeping, your body's reorganizing things. So I wouldn't watch the news um, before bed. I would listen to something, you know, very inspirational or whatever, because your brain is going to start organizing thoughts. And if you feed it negative things at nighttime, it's going to start organizing the, the, the news, and which is, it's just a list of bad things anyway. So we don't need that before we go to bed. Um, so as you sleep, uh, I would, you know, we pray, we, we talk about our dreams and our visions of what we want, and then that's how we sleep. So that's um, the one thing that Ben and I would do, and for, with our kids too, we like to read our scriptures as a family. Alrighty, so that is sleep, very, very important. Um, and even our brain, it flushes out toxins as we sleep, okay? Um, the next thing is balancing hormones, and this is a modern society thing. Uh, a lot of uh, xenoestrogens in our diet, so we need to get rid of the xenoestrogens and reduce the fat storing mode. When the estrogen level is high, your body is in a, is in a fat storing mode. So if I, uh, progesterone level is high, your body is in a fat burning mode. So get that estrogen level down and regulated so of course you have times when it's high but if you can get it to the point where it's just balancing um, then your body is able to absorb nutrients for your bones and burn burn fat okay so that is the whole women's um, kit and men can do this too by the way um, and uh, phytoestrogen bone nutrient and the clary calm Oh, yep, I've, I've, I've used those when I'm um, the time when I'm uh, exercising, mm -hmm. trying to you know keep control of myself. A um, bit of phytoestrogen. It's really great to maybe tack on to the end of your 30-day cleanse, so um, balance your hormones. Mm -hmm. um, do maybe 10 days worth of phytoestrogen mm -hmm. balancing. Um, the idea is you're trying to flush out the excess the xenoestrogens yeah. and other mm -hmm. harmful hormones. So guys, if you're thinking, oh, it's a lot of stuff, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of that, get rid of that. So I'm thinking <clears throat> you will be able to afford it and you will be able to um, use it all because it's food. It helps your body and, you know, you'll be able to attract abundance for you and your body to 
to use this because it's something that your body needs. All right, we want to talk about the Slim and Sassy Metabolic Blend. This is a fantastic blend that doTERRA made. I mean, all of these oils are fantastic for not only metabolism, but for digestion. So you've got ginger, very warming, very fat burning, lemon, fat burning, and helps with digestion, um, clean out all of the junk inside of you. Um, peppermint, very good for digestion. Cinnamon, another warm oil, helps with the insulin response. And grapefruit oil helps you love your body, honor your body and um, reduces the, the cravings for sugar and carbohydrates. So, I mean, this blend, you can take it internally with water. Does anybody, um, soft gels. Does anybody uh, take a uh, drink some sassy with their water? <laughs> Good, yeah. yeah. I always uh, carry some of my, or I have some of my desk here. Mm -hmm. I always put a couple drops in my water. It's either this or lemon, I think. This is really great because I really like the grapefruit and the ginger and everything. Yeah, um, the cinnamon, I'm a cinnamon guy. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a, some people say it takes a little bit getting used to the mm -hmm. slim and taste, but mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it's I don't like grapefruit, so I was surprised that it was in there because I like it. And <laughs> Beth actually got it before I did. So she brought it to dinner and was like, you've got to try this. She just put it in everybody's and then... So we were drinking it the other night and Jaden was like, what did, and we were laughing because we said the longer it sat in our water, it smelled differently sometimes. You smelled more men and you smelled more. <laughs> so we kept on, and my mom was like, these people in this restaurant would be like, what is up with those people smelling their water? We kept on, there's a table, they have tables around us and every so often we go, smell it now. And we're <laughs> water and drink it and we're just like all looking at it. but um but yeah everybody at the table really liked it and we were like this I like drinking water but I have to have lemon or something in it or I won't and I'll find myself dehydrated so not only does it help me like if I want to like snack on stuff but it helps me drink as much as I really need to each day keep hydrated yeah it helps me for those things and, and actually drinking is something that also can help your metabolism, keep your yeah. body flushing out and your body's got to get rid of some of those toxins. I, I, with toxins, it either gets rid of them, eliminates them, or it isolates them, stores them. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a client who mixes the lemon and the slim and sassy, but do you think that's kind of redundant since no. it's... It I think that's fantastic. Mix. I do that too, Catherine. I love lemon. I just love the taste of lemons. I think it should be stronger. <laughs> yeah, so do I. I just realized though, if it's in the if it's in the slim and sassy, then uh -oh. no. maybe. No, you just um, add whatever it is yeah, that you like to it. And make it stronger. It is. It's kind of like adding a bit of eucalyptus to your own guard. Um, just it's already in there. It's, but... it's a bit of a blend. Okay. There has pre-made blends, but you can make, make your own. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the blends that they, they produce are tried and tested, but you know we all have different applications, so yes. that's fine. Um, yeah, some days and, I put extra grapefruit in, depends on how I feel. Yeah, I think it's just like a recipe when you're cooking, you can change your recipe, shake, um, it, up. shake it up. To, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I a little bit of more salt or pepper yeah. here. And, and it's food, so just remember yeah. it's just food. My doctor also said um, I had to drink enough water because it will protect my bladder and um, because when there's not enough water there, um, it becomes so acidic, it can just start being inflamed on its own. Even though there's not really infections or anything, it just gets used to being inflamed. Mm -hmm. So I really had to make sure I was drinking enough. And since I've always had that problem, I'm, I like carry the different oils around. I was like, lemon today, lime, where's the cinnamon sassy? And I've found that I don't really get hydrated, dehydrated and I don't really have headaches from getting dehydrated. Before. Yeah, I get dehydrated headaches really <laughs> yeah, easily yeah. too. And your mom, actually, we go to lunch together and I see her take out her oils <laughs> all the time and everybody's asking her and saying, hey, that smells good, what is that? What are you doing? So she's really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> I've also heard that, you know, if you're not drinking enough water over time, it can really damage your kidney. It does. Because your yeah. kidney uses the water to, Flush it, things it's out. flushing the uric acid and everything out of your, out of your blood. So it's kind of a cleanser, but if, 
it doesn't have it's like washing your kitchen without water would yeah. be a very difficult thing yeah. to do that's good huh honey that's really good anybody else want to say anything about slim and sassy mm -hmm. well, it's, it's called the met metabolic blend um because it helps to boost or stimulate your metabolism and you can not just we talked about drinking it but sometimes um you can rub it also on. rub it on like your love handles. areas you want uh, especially after you've exercised and you have a, your your um blood pumping through you um, you can do that and it mm. gives a bit of a tingling sensation and you rub it on problem areas i guess i mean areas that are a little bit a little bit more fat storage than you'd like it to I, I travel, so when I um, don't get a chance to sit and eat, um, I drink Slim and Sassy so that I could um, last a few more hours without having to eat because hmm. you know, the feeling of hunger really you know, gets you down. And, and this way I get energy without having to feel... Um, Eating would be better, but... It's yeah, but when I'm traveling and I'm, a, I'm doing one class after the next, you know, I have a little bit in my water and I can last and feel energized and happy. Because, you know, feeling hungry makes you sad, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I get sad. <laughs> um, and they also have a, a gum. So it's mm -hmm. a sassy gum. Um, there's that too. So for people who, who want that taste in their mouth. Because it does help you curb the, the appetite. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, for What's those people who are yeah. anorexic, <laughs> that yeah. helps you remember to eat. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just want to say that I had, um, I just went on a, a doTERRA retreat and, um, which was really beautiful. And I got the opportunity to do the, uh, Zyto compass and I'm not really too familiar with that and how it actually works. I mean, I did ask a couple of questions and I had a couple of biomarkers off and they said I needed, uh, slim and sassy. <laughs> Which which I've been taking <laughs> said I needed one drop or something like that a day and the bone complex uh, formula and in tune those were the three things and a, a, you know a bunch of people started going to the table taking that but I know Slim and Sassy was do you understand that do you guys understand that the Zyto complex with the biomarkers I, the major one was in tune they said I it was like I had I think. 20 something markers on that and slim and sassy was like maybe four or something and the bone mineral might have been like four or two something like that but i know the high one was in tune <laughs> and the other two was slim and sassy in the bone mineral complex yeah yeah, yeah. So, it's, so it's based on um they scan not just for doTERRA there's this they have these machines for other um, places too. We have doctors that um, scan patients for how much um, nutrients they need and how much they're deficient in. So now they've just redesigned it um, so that they have the markers for essential oils and our um, supplements. But um, yeah, it's just what your body, they think your body's deficient. It's pretty accurate, I think. Um, and they have other ones besides the brand Zyto. There's other ones too. Um, but yeah. people can actually do that naturally children are very good at that and it's called intuition <laughs> yeah. oh boy yeah and mm -hmm. you, know, you already know that you, you think oh you know i don't remember i can't focus sometimes you already know that that's that's something that you need um okay. yeah but the emotion side is probably something you want to look at too because you know anything physical is the uh, root of it is an emotion so that you can you can really get down to the root of it Okay, um, I will look at that. Since we're talking Thank about you. it, um, Slim and Sassy, the root of it just is helping you feel uh, happy and accepting your body. Um, okay. Feeling on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Um, we'll just go introduce you to a mitre to max. Um, so when you are trying to um, have a healthy weight, um, some, sometimes we just need an extra energy to get up there and get out and start moving, start exercising. Some people, they, they're in this, um, this vicious cycle that I will get up and exercise when I feel energized, but then I don't feel energized, so I can't get up. So now we're going to get energized and then we can get up and start moving and then we have more energy because we're exercising. 
But some people think, well, if I'm burning energy, it doesn't I, I don't understand. I, I get more energy. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, um, yes, you do. And Mitra to Max um, is a wonderful supplement. And I have people telling me that they lose weight on it because they, they move so much and they get so much energy. My friend, has, she said her husband lost um, um, five kilos in Australia. That's like 10 pounds in the first week because he was just, you know, so active and hyper. <laughs> so she's like, oh, that's interesting. And he hasn't even started exercising. I'm probably eating less because he's yeah. getting more out of it. So the way it works is it works with your mitochondria. That's what the mito part stands for. Um, it helps your mitochondria. That's Mitochondria is the energy um, factory in the cell. So it works mm-hmm. on the cellular level and get, make, helps your mitochondria produce more energy from what it already has. Mm-hmm. And so you're just using the stuff you already have and giving more energy. And I think out of all the products that we first started with, this one I noticed the most difference with. Um, when I took that, I had more energy than when I didn't. Mm-hmm. So in periods of time I go without it, you know, I, I can feel the, the difference. So yeah. this was my, one of my first favorites, um, yeah. Mito 2 Max. So if you haven't tried that and you, you're looking for something to give you more energy, that's definitely something you want to yes. try. If you have a long shift ahead, that's the oil, and that's the product that you go to. And if you're trying to get to sleep, Maybe wait until you wake up to take this one. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike my brother-in-law. <laughs> he takes that before bed. I don't know why. <laughs> so the next one, is, the, the next thing we want to talk about is just your metabolism, your resting metabolic rate, RMR. Um, so if you want your body to work with you, you want it to burn fat at a higher level, even when you're at rest. Okay, so we have a little handout here. People can um, print this out. So you can click on that and just to help you remember what we talked about today, the mind, body, and spirit. Um, but down here, we have things that will help you um, boost your metabolism. Uh, we've taught our children to do this, and we, we do this all the time. So eat five to six small meals a day. That means um, every three or maybe every four hours you're eating. Yeah. That doesn't mean you have to prepare a full meal each time. Uh-huh. That's where things like a meal supplement, like the trim shakes can come in yeah. handy, um, where you're not having to prepare a meal, but it's a snack, like a piece of fruit, mm-hmm. some nuts, or maybe a, a shake, a um, mm-hmm. shake or something like that. Yeah. So, so when I travel I, um, with people, they're, they're surprised how often I eat, but, <laughs> you know, and I still can maintain a healthy weight. And it's just because the metabolism is so fast that it burns so quickly uh, so when you tr- you just train yourself in that way think ahead and then slowly you'll just get to, you know, used to it it's just going to be ha- habitual so you're not eating to like stuff your stomach and everything but um you eat first thing when you get up you, you eat something because your body's been the fasting time. the whole night um so you want to get your metabolism back up and going um and then when when you sit down and eat a meal you can dish yourself up in the beginning instead of just keep on adding to your plate. You can you have this much carbohydrates the size of your clenched fist, um, proteins about the size of your palm, and fats, you know, about the size of you know a, a fingertip or something. And that's all for your meal. Um, and then you, you would eat that, you know, throughout your day. Yeah. So it yeah. doesn't look like much, um, but that's all you need. Handful of nuts and stuff. Yeah. And, stuff. That's great. and if you're really hungry just after you've finished eat, eating <clears throat> 20 to 30 minutes because sometimes it takes a little while for the signal to get to your brain or yeah. drink drink some sassy water yeah yeah of course um you know boosting your metabolism uh sleep will help boost your metabolism um mm-hmm. exercise um so that's just uh different um speeds going exercise. really quickly um so if your body is your when you get your heart rate really high, that's high intensity, and then low intensity is not not as high. But that getting your heart rate really high, that is going to cause a high that will carry over for you know a day or so. Mm-hmm. Instead of just going running at a at an, at a moderate pace, for you can run for an hour at a moderate pace, and then when you're done running, the benefit of that exercise stops. When you go do mix intensity exercise or weight training where you're, you're actually breaking down muscles. Spending less time. 
that your body will continue to burn fat over the next two days. Mm -hmm. so, um, Instead of stopping day. right after the exercise, it's going to continue to uh, raise your metabolism for two, up to two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's weight training, of course, more muscles, burn more fat. And um, you've got your Slim and Sassy Blend to help with uh, raising your metabolism. Um, and anything, any questions, comments about that? It's, it's actually, you know, very, very simple. And, and the more you do it, the more um, it becomes second nature. And it's also uh, something you want to fit into your um, lifestyle. Yeah. Yep. So uh, metabolic bombs, which is the things that uh, slow down your metabolism, which is refined sugar, um, you know, low quality carbs, of course, stress and no rest, bad oils, canola oil, hydro, hydrogenated oils are all very bad for you. Skipping meals, feeling hungry, your body will start storing fat. Um, inflammatory foods, foods that um, are like junk food which causes lots of inflammation. Inflammation will cause your metabolism to slow down. And of course, mm. phenoestrogens will put you in that fat storing mode. Okay, so that's bad. So if you can have aware of those things, avoid it, it again, becomes a lot easier. You think of metabolism as a, as a furnace that's mm -hmm. inside your body. Mm -hmm. As long as you can keep that furnace stoked and going, mm -hmm. it'll, you know. Yeah. 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 Sometimes if people eat a lot of carbohydrates, um, that also can um, lower your metabolism. Whereas if you, you have a good um, ratio of macronutrients, then that can help um, get that maintained. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Um, okay, so the last thing we want to talk about is just an intuitive diet. Um, like I said, lots of people come up to me and ask me what I think about this diet, what I think about that diet. Um, you know, I just say, ask your, ask your body, does it feel right? Because there's a lot of people all around the world in different environments and different um, climates, uh, and they eat differently, but their body is still healthy and sustained. You I mean, you have your Eskimos eating mostly raw fish and lots of fish fat, and, um, you know, they're nourished in the way that their body needs to be nourished for the climate that they're in. Um, people, you know, in south of Japan, they eat a certain amount of food. I mean, a lot of people will live over a hundred years old, right? Um, and so we are in a different climate and to each other. Um, so what I encourage people to do is eat food in it close to its natural form as possible. So that means it's minimally processed. So take sugar, for example. If you take sugar in its most um, raw form or like a sugar cane, you have a lot of the fibers with it. Um, so it's a stick. Basically, when I eat sugar cane in Vietnam, it's just a stick biting and sucking into a stick. Then you get all of the um, fibers with that. And the fibers are actually the antidote. It balances it out. It's sort of like the same idea that we have with the... Um, essential oils, you get it in its complete molecular structure as found in nature and your body knows how to handle it. Your body knows how to metabolize it and your body knows how to absorb it, okay? I mean, it doesn't hurt you in any way, it doesn't spike your body in any way, it doesn't cause any instability in your body. So that's the same thing with any of the foods that we have. If we can honor it and keep it as little um, uh, in its complete structure as close to how it's found in nature as possible then um well our body's better off so when you go to the grocery store spend the most time in the um produce section out of rings yeah yeah fill their cart yeah. with a bunch of produce so if you think about it with people saying oh this oil is great that oil is great virgin oil uh, virgin olive oil is great but i say look look at the oil smell it and people say well you know some oils go bad it goes uh, putrid too quickly i say those are the oils actually that you want because you don't want the oils to be highly processed just because it says virgin olive oil but if it's like really yellow i don't think so i think it's already very highly processed if it smells fruity it smells fresh then it's probably in a more natural form okay so you gotta have to think about it is this more natural is this as close to how it's found in nature as possible? Okay, so that's the idea. Not too terribly difficult. Um, I, I know certain people have a, a preference of 
all the way vegan, all the way vegetarian, all the way, you know, whatever it is. I am not going to say anything either way because sometimes you know, it depends on where you live, depending on the food that's locally available as well. And your body will ask for it. So um, your body will tell you when you're hungry, eat. When you're full, stop. <laughs> that's that's really easy eat the food in the seasons there are eat um, as locally as possible because of all of the, the benefits of um, the environment uh, you know they it's like the um, local honey helps you have a an immunity towards all the local bugs and um, diseases so same thing it helps you um, have that strong immunity and of course number four is enjoy your food, enjoy it, be happy, experience it, then your body will absorb the nutrients properly. I know a lot of people that force down you know, greens, force down stuff. Um, if you don't enjoy it. Or eat quickly or eat while they're working. Yeah, your body's not going I'm to really metabolize and absorb it. And uh, so we've got a lot of people that speak about food. They say you'd rather eat some slightly unhealthy food and really enjoy it than to not enjoying the you know, unhealthy food because I know people say that they're allergic to um, the folic or allergic to the greens and things. Like that. I believe it because they have a bad mental association with it. So don't hurt yourself that way. You know, in those scriptures, I always try to reference the scriptures because that's my vertical truth, right? Um, they talk about milk and bread and honey and fish and fruits. Well, in my mind, you know, like even the wheat. Has, it's not been adulterated, it hasn't been um, radiated, it hasn't been sprayed with pesticides, herbicides and things like that. So I feel like if it's in its natural state, like wheat, we eat in corn wheat because it's more um, natural and um, organic than the wheat that um, they have nowadays, <clears throat> then I feel like that's good for my body. So yeah, that's my thinking. Eat uh, food, enjoy it and have and give thanksgiving to it anybody else have something they want to add to that okay cool i think we've done a really good um overview of uh, maintaining healthy weight anything you s maintaining healthy weight anything anybody thinks that maybe we've um could add to this discussion or if you, if you find that um, there's a concept that's new to you or, yeah, you want to discuss anything or just give us some feedback. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> we didn't go a lot into exercising. Um, you know, basically, if, you, if you're, I think as long as you're getting out there um, regularly and exercising, moving sometimes with some people it's just moving mm -hmm. going on walks or you know go for a run or something like that um if you want to really move your weight um you want to you know do some like i said i i like weight training or you know some high intensity exercise where you're, if you're going to go running sprint and then jog sprint as hard as you can and then jog so that makes intensity it will carry over a lot more um have a lot more longer benefit than um, just during the time that you're running. You're just hopping on a treadmill and running just for that hour or 30 minutes or 20 minutes or 10 minutes maybe. Yeah, but if you're starting <laughs> it's just gonna benefit you and your time. body's hurting, um, it just move. Just yeah. move so that your, body, your blood is circulating the nutrients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, so weight is not a difficult thing. It's not a secret thing, guys. Um, yeah, just keep at it. Follow the principles. So there's been some times in my life where I've gone on like a diet or, you know, I've done a, 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 a program or 100 day challenge. I just finished, uh, you know, exercising, eating really clean uh, for like a certain amount of time. Um, it should be, it should, if it's something that can, is just sustainable, you can do, you can maybe concentrate and focus on it for a short time. But the main things need to be sustainable. You need to eat healthy on yeah. ongoing basis and yeah. put those things into your um, yeah. your day-to-day uh, -day life. So yeah. All right. I think that covers anybody. Anything anybody wants to add to that? No. That was really good. Thanks, Ben and Jay. That was great. Yeah. 
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for, for coming us. and for participating and sharing with Thank us. You. Thank you. Good. Um, like I said, this, this video or any of the other videos or audios, uh, just talking to someone in Australia, it's kind of hard for them to get on at this time. But this mm -hmm. podcast, you know, they'll, they'll get them on in their car and, and listen to it. So we know we have a lot bigger audience than we have just here tonight. So thank you, everybody, for your support. And um, we're open to any feedback or um, yeah. You guys can continue you making comments on the post, too. Yeah. So if you want to share some success stories, that'll be awesome. Thank, Thank you everybody for coming tonight. Thank I'm you. Go ahead and stop the recording.